Oh, guys, 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 welcome back. This is getting painful. I thought I'd do it in one video. Anyway, part four it is of Kiss Singles. Here we go again. Right, next up, I have a Japanese one to start the show off. Okay, Sure Knows Something. Now, this, this is really nice. Back in the day, I didn't have this one. This one was hard to get for whatever reason. But of course, you know, these days with eBay and Discogs and everything, it's getting uh, easier to find these. And this was quite expensive um, at the time. And I don't know, I just didn't buy it or I couldn't find one. And I now I finally got it. So uh, this one came from Japan um, on eBay. Uh, I only paid £12 for it, which I'm really pleased with. Because I do like this one. I've always wanted it. So sure knows something. Um, again, this has got, uh, what's on the B side? Dirty Living, that's the usual, so that's the front. That's the back. And there is your Victor sleeve. Ooh, comes from one of these plastic sleeves again. I won't get it out. It's just a normal um, kind of um, Casablanca label. Okay, so that sure knows something, which I think is really, really nice. Okay. Okay, now I believe the next one Magic Touch from France. Okay, this this French single, I, I believe it's only a French release. I can't, I don't know if there's any other countries that release Magic Touch. You might know something that I don't. Um, so, uh, but this French one is relatively easy to get on eBay. Okay, uh, it's got to save your love on it. And on the B side, uh, there we go. That's the back of it. Okay, that's the front. Uh, this one wasn't too expensive. You can get these. I mean, some people charge fifteen pounds for them, twenty pounds. You can get this for under a tenner, okay? So, ten pounds is all you want to pay. Ten English pounds. There you go. Just a normal standard uh, Casablanca Filmworks label on this one. So that's uh, Magic Touch from France. Okay. Next up we have. Uh, okay, this one is. Um, this one's Shandy. Okay, we're getting to the unmasked period now. And this one uh, on the B side is She's So European. Okay, there we go. That's that. Um, I don't think this is the cover it came in, but I've just put it in here. And when it came through the door, uh, through the post, I just had a black sleeve with it, but I thought I'd put it in the Casablanca sleeve. But this one, uh, Shandy, comes, I think this is a Norwegian or Swedish one. Okay, it comes in a sort of like a, a bit boring actually it's a, a red cover with shandy written in white but on the back it's got four pictures from the alive two period in um red uh black and white sort of thing i believe so uh but the front cover is really boring it's nothing interesting okay well i think it's boring <laughs> there you go so that is shandy from norway i believe or sweden one or two are going to end. All right, next up we have uh, Shandy again, okay, and this one is a Dutch one, okay, a Dutch um, Shandy, sort of thing. and uh, B side is she so European. Nice cover, a dynasty cover, um, sort of thing, so not quite the same sort of uh, picture. Uh, well, uh, sorry, not, so, what am I trying to say here? Uh, I would unmask costumes, maybe, I don't know, um, would have been better, but oh, who cares anyway. This is Shandy, and that's the B side there. I think I've been doing too many of these videos now. Getting tired. Okay, so that's Shandy. She's so European. Okay. Nice Dutch label. Um, this one, again, you can pick up for around the £10 mark. Not too expensive, sort of thing. Um, with my experience buying these singles so far, um, I would personally rather bid on them than actually go for buy now price, unless the buy now price is really cheap. Okay. Okay. Shandy again. Okay, I've got this in. Oh, I've got this in double cover. This is a Japanese one. Okay. All right. Let's get this out of the plastic sleeve. There we go, Shandy. Again, thank you very much to Steve Kuzan who uh, got this one for me. He's um, he's very helpful. He tries to help people with their KISS collections and he certainly helps me with a few of them. And this was another one. I only paid £10 for this, which was very nice. So thank you very much, Steve. There you go. There's that. And there's the back. Okay. 
And of course, we've gone on from Victor to Polystar now. That's the Polystar inner sleeve. Um, yep. Okay, Polystar. Uh, nothing interesting, really. Sort of thing. Oh, that's actually so European. There we go. So that's a Japanese shandy. Uh, I have seen these go for as much as 25, but I've also seen one on eBay as cheap as. Um, <laughs> that's, that's another one I missed out. There's one that went for three pound fifty. Don't oh! <laughs> three pound fifty. Although the, pr the the postage was from Japan at seven pounds, but still ten pounds, just over ten pounds for a single. That's not bad. But um, I missed out on that one. So thank you to Steve for getting this one sorted out for me. Lovely. Thank you. Next up, we have Shandy again. Okay, it's so a Shandy. This is from Italy. Okay. Uh, again, that will be the same both sides, being that it's from um, Italy. Uh, she saw Europeans on the B side. There you go. There you go. And, uh, that's just a normal Casablanca label. Um, uh, as I said to you before, in my last video, a lot of these Italian singles came from a record shop called Adrian's. Uh, Either my friend Neil or my friend Dave told me about that, and then suddenly it ping, it came back. Adrian's, of course, and they're doing mail order uh, stuff back in the day, back in the 80s, and these were like three pounds, four pounds each, very cheap. Okay, uh, can anyone remember Adrian's? Um, if you do, give me more details about it. Uh, I'd like to know. I do remember Adrian's, just uh, something I'll remember. Okay, guys, next up we have another. Mexican single. Okay, here we go. This is um, this is Shandy, the Mexican EP. It's a four-track one, four-track single. It comes with Shandy, Mr. Make Believe, Firehouse, and Rock and Roll All Night. Okay, there we go. And again, I, I said to you before, it's nah, the previous one I had, Strata '78 on Mexican EP. That's just a plain sort of fold sleeve. There's the back of it. Okay. Um, and just have to mention, Mr. Anderson um, sold me this one at again at a mate's rate price, um, really cheap. So thank you again, John, because these are quite expensive to buy, or they can be. To buy now prices on these, I've seen some for thirty to forty pounds. I didn't pay anywhere near that. But thank you once again, John, for um, helping me build my collection up. I do appreciate it, and uh, I'd like to get the other three if possible. Remortgage the house for that. I won't be doing it. Um, right, guys, next up. Okay, the next single from the Unmasked album is Talk To Me. Okay, this is a British one, okay, British release. Um, I think um, the English, again, made quite a bit of effort. It's quite different the way it's done compared to the European ones, okay? So that's Talk To Me. That's the front. On the back, it's She's So European, okay? And, of course, we're onto the Mercury label now, okay? It was a bit weird when I bought Unmasked. Um, suddenly, from Casablanca to Mercury. Okay, she's so European. There you go. So there you go. That's that. That's talk to me. And next up, we have surprise, surprise. Talk to me from a Germany. Okay, there we are. Um, that's talk to me. Um, some dynasty shoot here, which is similar to the 2000 man EP, the UK EP, except this one, we can tell it's the wrong way round because <laughs> Paul stars on the wrong eye. Uh, but there you go. Uh, this is quite interesting, actually. This That's the front of it. This is the back. Um, it's The back is um, interesting here because on the top there, you would cut that bit out and put it in a jukebox, I believe. Am I right? Am I right now? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It's actually got a, a scissor. Uh, display there, so I'm guessing cut it out. I say we're going to jukebox, okay? It's even got the dates here, uh, the uh, German dates for the Unmasked tour. So that's very, very nice. So there you go. So that's talk to me from Germany. Okay. Uh, again, this one is not too expensive. You can get these. Well, actually, no. I managed to get it for about ten pounds, but I have seen this for about fifteen, twenty. But try and bid on it if you can. Okay. Don't, don't pay more than ten. Jesus Christ. Things are expensive enough as it is. Don't pay too much money for these things. Okay, again, this is a UK one. Uh, what makes the world go round? Okay, now again, the UK for once, you know, well, more than once, 
we are actually making an effort in this country. It's, you won't get this picture or or anything similar to this in any other country. Okay, it's only UK that have done this. I like this picture of Ace with his with his guitar, the smoke in the background, very nice. Okay, we have made a bit of an effort. Thumbs up for that one. Okay, that's the front, and that's the back, and the B side is Naked City. Okay, what makes the world go round? Naked City. There we go. Uh, again, that's on a Mercury label. Okay. Mercury label. So that is what makes the world go round. Okay, next up we have, again, what makes the world go round. Now this is a French one. Now as you can see, this one's a little bit tatty, this one. But I didn't pay a lot of money for it. And it's actually quite rare. Uh, I don't see the French ones often uh, for what makes the world go round. So I thought for four pounds, I'll have this anyway. So I mean, um, I might try and get a better copy at some point. Okay, uh, this is on the Casablanca, not Mercury. Okay, that's kind of like an orangey label. There we go. Okay, so I'm just having a look at this. Yep. I only got this the other day, so uh, but there you go. So a little bit tatty this one, but uh, I like it. I like it. So, okay, next one, I see a polystar here coming up. Okay, oh, sorry guys. All right, polystar, here we go. So, this one is tomorrow. Okay, now this is a really nice cover, I love this one. Nice, nice picture here. Um, so that's tomorrow. There's the back. If you notice, we slipped away Mr. Peter Chris and uh, slipped in Mr. Eric Carr. Okay, uh, just incidentally, what I was saying earlier on uh, about Polystar, there are two different types of Polystars. I don't know which one came first. I think this one came first. Okay, so there's two different Polystars, okay, uh, for the Japanese uh, singles. So just take note. All right, that's that. Uh, nothing interesting in here, just a uh, just normal sleeve. Normal label, sorry. So that is tomorrow. And on the B side of this one is Naked City. Okay. Naked City. Naked City. Stop singing. Right, moving on next. Here we are. This one's Kiss. And Tomorrow. Okay. This is a German one, okay? Tomorrow. I don't know if this was released any in many countries, um, apart from Japan, tomorrow. Um, but that's a nice picture. I like that. So that's for separate pictures there that's the front that is the back is that you is on the B side tomorrow and that's the uh, label there so this is very nice uh, this you can pick up for around well some people charging 20 25 I got it for 10 from discovery Records. so many thanks Andy for that one 10 pounds I do appreciate that uh, next up okay we have Getting into the elder period now. This is a world without heroes, okay? And uh, on the B side is Mr. Blackmore. Okay, this is a UK release. Um, Casablanca, a silver sort of um, label there. So, quite a common one, nothing special about this one. Uh, you can get this for around five pound mark, sort of thing, on eBay, five, six, seven, something like that. So that's nice. Uh, and the UK, again made a bit of extra effort which the Europeans or the Americans really didn't in the UK here we bought out the ah picture this version okay world about heroes and mr. Blackwell on the B side there we go so this is nice okay it's nice to see the um, see us making a bit more effort here so let's get back in and there it is okay mm -hmm. Next up, I have. I'm trying to rush through these now. Uh, we have a world that heroes. This is uh, just an American one, but on the B side, it's dark light. Okay, dark light. There we go. So that's that. Not very interesting, really. This one. Um, there you go. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, next up, we have I. Okay, now this is a Dutch one. <laughs> Uh, a Dutch eye. Uh, thank you, Mr. Anderson, for sending me this one. I like this, apart from the number there. But, uh, that doesn't bug me. I don't have sleepless nights. 
But anyway, uh, this is a Dutch copy of I and uh, the Oath on the B side. That's the back of it. Uh, just a normal Casablanca label kind of thing. So nothing overly special there. Do you know, I'm going to get an assistant for my next video, I think. Because I do get a little bit tired of doing these. So, and especially when I can't get them in either. So I'm just going to leave that one aside there and move on to the next. Right, next up we have, again, I uh, and the Oath on the B side. This is a German uh, copy. I can tell by the S's there, that's a German one. Um, this is quite nice, this one. Uh, inside is the standard Casablanca label. That's the front and that's the back. That's quite nice, a German copy of that one. And what have we got next? Ah, we've got I again. This is a French copy. Now, again, thanks to Steve for this one, Steve Cousin. Uh, don't see many of these French ones are caught, uh, at, uh, on eBay much. Uh, this is I with the oath on the B side, quite nice. Um, so another rare one. Nothing on the B side, bit, no, apart from ring, <laughs> ring wear. Uh, there's nothing written on, sorry, on the on the back side of this uh, uh, sleeve. So a little bit uh, uh, uninteresting, but. A rare single. I don't see this one often. And again, it's just a Casablanca orangey kind of kind of label. Right. Next up, we have Japanese. Ah, this one's nice. We have a Japanese I. Okay. And on the B side, this is just a boy. Okay, not the O. The Japanese decide to choose something different. So again, it's on a blue polystar. I think these are the second issue sleeves. And that's the B side. And yeah, just the standard kind of uh, Casablanca thing label. So that is I, a Japanese Ivy. Now these are nice. I'd like to get some of the, uh, more of the elder period. There's, there's um, that kind of era, 81, 82. You've got Down on Your Knees, which is quite hard. I'm a legend tonight. Uh, don't know about Down on Your Knees, that's Japanese one, but I'm a legend tonight. Anyway, next up, just want to quickly get through these now. Uh, just a picture disc. Uh, Vinny, I only bought it because I, I like Vinny. Just an interview picture disc. There you go. Uh, next one up we have, again, the UK have made an effort. This is a killer, and I love it loud on the B side. Now, I won't pull it, but if you pull this bit here, or oh, should I pull it? No, I'm not going to bother pulling it, so I'll probably bloody rip it. So this is the UK killer. Uh, that's the front there, that's the back. Um, I like the label, very nice, very different, very nice. So there we are. I like that. But yeah, if you pull this bit here, the, his eyes go funny and his tongue sticks out, sort of thing. So again, big effort to the UK again. <laughs> okay, it's the last one. Thank God. Right, the last one is <laughs> Creatures of the Night and Rock and Roll All Night on the B side. I love it loud. Again, we've done it slightly different. We in the UK here, we haven't done a blue cover, we've done a pink cover. I don't know why, but we have. So that is all that. There, there we go. Okay, same both sides. So that is uh, Creatures of the Night. So that's nice, nice pink cover. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the. Um, the singles, the Kiss singles, all four parts of it, and thank you for sticking with me. Uh, sorry I haven't been too informative about it, but uh, I'll try my best. But uh, if you have any uh, um, kind of like, if you know any more about these singles that I've told you about today, please, please, please just email me and uh, give me a bit more information. I'm always up for more information on, on Kiss, so uh, come back to me. Anyway, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And I will be back for another Kiss Bootleg session at some point. Uh, until then, take care. Adios. Good night.